Hello and welcome back to another episode of War Tales Pirates of Beleriand. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our playthrough where we're trying to explore literally everything uh, there is of uh, the DLC. As you can see we're approximately 90-ish percent in and uh, between the last time and this time I explored Turk Island. Really not much uh, there, just a bay with pirates. But now we have come to a new place that I wanted to explore together with you. So join me um, as today's episode is potentially going to be a little bit more exploration oriented. Seems to be a total lizard island. Come on, I don't want to fight them. No, no. Ah. Well, we're starting with a big bang. Good, we're starting with quite a few lizards. Let's put our tank over here. can't reach these guys. That's really not great. Very bad position to be in. But we'll make the best out of it. And in this case, we're going to get three of the Saurians. Challenging shout to pull us, uh, pull them closer. And one, two, three. Enemy is intimidated. And a nice little hit. However, the dragon uh, will come back and will hit us very, very hard. This is, as far as I'm concerned, uh, can be quite strong. Their poison stacks up and they are like ultra fast. They are the wolves, uh, the wolf equivalents. I wonder with those dragons uh, if they are worth taming. And somehow they also ignore heavy armored targets. They always go for the weaker armored targets. They focus fire really, really well. Okay, a couple of uh, things here, right? So for starters, heal. Into a nice little kill. Into hitting this guy. And we're good. Then let's do this just for a couple more free Vela points. Good, and to make sure that these lizards aren't just running around wildly, let's bind them to us. It 
It's crazy how they always go for the low hit point targets, completely ignoring the tanks. Is that something that is lizard specific that I should know about? points of damage slap me wildly and call me miss piggy that was a huge crit <laughs> okay so much for the non-existing reinforcements but that was some tougher fight than expected specifically since these guys do have two attacks uh, that is ouch willpower in half can't let that happen. Heal with a medicine and we're looting everything short of the remains. We really don't need those. Okay, cool. Well, Lizard's done. And we're entering a cave. Just try and get in, you filthy thieves. I'm the only one who knows who, how to get uh, through the ancient uh, labyrinths. Interesting. Well, we're going to gently ignore that and need a woodcutter who will be Noodle Keeper. Did we, by the way, start with checking, finish our scholar job? It's almost done, right? Yeah, he finished it. That was uh, the military medal. Okay, cool. Well, in that case, Noodle Keeper, although he's a, almost a journeyman scholarship at this point. And cool, look at that. Solving a puzzle in Tomb of the Ancients or restoring legendary treasure both gives a knowledge point. That isn't bad. I mean, that's actually quite helpful to then have scholar. It was. It was one of these professions that you never really wanted uh, to uh, to fully have. Willpower plus four. It's okay. It was not needed, let's put it this way, to level it up. Uh, since he's leveling it at the moment, might as well... We just need a short woodcutter. Uh, yeah, inappropriate Murphy can't complete tasks. Oh, that is stupid. All right, woodcutter time. We got enough light, so we should be okay to explore the tome. Look at that, an old snake serpent temple. Looks a little bit like a very entangled penis, but maybe it's just my wild imagination. Ouch. All right. Let's let's keep going. Um You're back at the entrance. Drop 
Gone features, no provisions, the pirates starve to death. That is nasty. Starving to death, one of the worst forms of death. Just because it really, really takes a while. You're back at the entrance. Okay, we want it left, left. Okay, incorrect. Left, straight. Observe. Headstone with unreadable engravings. This is a bit spooky. It seems to be that huge labyrinth. Um, Noodle Keeper switches back to his scholar profession. Generates a little profession experience, generates little knowledge during the rest, has small chance of finding fragments. Okay, cool. Okay, we're trying again. Left. Straight. Right. And we can't go there, so we're going right again. I remember in one tomb where you needed to put gems into into that statue there is a go up so might as well take that and whilst we're up here putting a python down and grabbing that nice little chest Charpal, designed to cut through progress ahead speed. Bonus, when the wind changes, uh, the ship only slows down a little bit. Hmm, the surrounded hull isn't bad either. There's definitely a lot that you can do with uh, your ship, and I feel that I have only scratched the surface so far. But then again, most of the ship stuff ends being you drive faster, which, don't get me wrong, is fine, but it's not like that massive of a deal. Potentially back to the entrance, right? Figured. Left. Straight. Goes back here. We can 
try this direction. Okay, okay, the entrance. Left, here, and let's test straight. Okay, get the entrance. Left, here. Check this. And that's the last area that we could go back to the entrance. So it's fair to conclude that there is one way, which is upstairs, and that's basically it. Good. Made it to the mountain top. Very nice. That was a bit of exploring. Um, let's get a few more tools because we will need that. And do we have medicine? I think the answer is no. Which means uh, you guys have to suck it up and just deal with it. Good. In the meantime, I'll try to explore this part here and let you know when we find something interesting. Alright, back in business. So, we found uh, that there is not much here. There was a bit of a hidden treasure on the water, but yeah, not really anything to write home about. We found a new island, though. And with every new island, there is a hope that we're going to find something cool. This one seems to be a little bit of a smaller island, which is fine. I'm surprised, by the way, just due to finding so many treasures and beating other pirates, that we kept net positive. Typically the wages at some point are requiring you to do some sort of uh, contract work, but not this time. There's something strange about this rock. Few companions could lift it. Uh, you and you. Shellfish. Well, that's not bad. We oftentimes want a shellfish. Specifically for the um, armor upgrades. Unfortunately for us, our armor is absolutely rotten at this point. Nothing under the rock. I see. So this is one of those islands where we found a chest. Including a new item. Fast boarding exiles tenacity. All of the sailing techniques used during the Great Crossing. The ship gains one extra knot when the wind is uh, wind effect is negative. Well, that's not bad. So essentially all these books are extra techniques that you can learn. Okay, cool. Can I please inspect this rock? Okay, 
We lifted the rock and mole rats are attacking us in plain daylight, mind you. The, the problem with mole rats is uh, in plain daylight, they get vulnerability. That in itself is a really nasty debuff because it means you take more damage. And when they can't hide the little sneaky but they are easy pickings. Half of them just died in one go. Not sure if uh, we can do the same over here. Don't think we can. But we can kill two, I think. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the whole Morad thing went just as well as I would have expected. <laughs> they did not get the single hit in. Are you kidding me? Another Morad? So what's what's the strategy here? Are they just trying to overrun us with sheer numbers? I find that setup a bit problematic. Moritz are not a real threat, but more and more are coming. So either the game wants us to get the most amount of uh, red tea that you have seen in a while, or we're going to waste our time. Or it's just trying to drain our Vela points, and then the Red King comes, like the Uber Red. Reminds me a bit of Vermintide. Excellent game, by the way, if you have not played it. Good. Waiting for the reds to come. Bring it on. They're not fast enough. See, that's why I'm not a, why I'm not a big fan of big uh, maps. They always begin to make things complicated. I remember the city maps. Where we had like huge maps and everybody needed to run even on a faster pc it took quite a while until all of uh, the entities have acted
Yeah, and the Reds are really... I mean, they, they have nothing going for them. Not even with reinforcements. Think about it. They are slow. Potentially one, if not the slowest unit in the game from the enemies. They cannot wear armor. They, they do not have a great constitution to begin with. They do have a huge weakness, which is the moment that they are exposed to sunlight, they are automatically vulnerable. So not only can they not wear armor, they are also taking additional damage. And then on top of all of that, they are ugly. And they are not dealing a lot of damage. I you know, think about a single positive uh, thing. Maybe if you think that they are cute, then that might be it. But yeah, that could be a real challenge run. Forced to run with rats. Because they are so squishy. And that might be... Here's the thing, if you are that far in my playthrough, you must be a War Tales fan. So, suggestion for a run. The um, Red Piper of Hamelin run, where we're having a very limited amount of actual characters, maybe in the region of two-ish. And the vast majority needs to be done via mole rats. So it's mole rats only. We're skilling that they repopulate quickly. Which, in theory, should lead to a way of replenishing our uh, losses. But there are still a couple of further rocks. I want to take a break on the ship. Because that's safer. So yeah, rats and maybe something uh, else. Something that's cool. So rats plus maybe a couple of the lizards. Okay, a few more stones to turn, as they say. Nothing underneath. No, 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 no. Okay, I think... Contrary to what I was saying beforehand, that might have been it. Some of the stone... Oh, here we go. Here's another one. Some of the stones really contain good loot. Good. You wouldn't believe who just ran right into me. Damn right, it is Aokel, the legendary boss. <clears throat> so I figured, since we're anyways on a roll, might as well do him. I'm not 100% sure if Aokel might be the final portion of this playthrough, but uh, we have had a good run so far, and I think there isn't really that much left to explore 
to a degree we only have uh, the uh, the one island uh, north of us so I'll give that a go and see if it is really worth recording but this here for sure is worth recording so Iokeld is over here uh, 650 hit points and armor that is a lot um, and what does he do deals damage to a target and applies bleeding then deals damage to the target and knocks them back well luckily our tank is not knocked backable so that's good throws a couple of traps and it just overall looks like this is not going to be fun Good, as our tank needs to go in and does need his standard action, we might as well land somewhere here, which I would assume is where he is going. I might be completely wrong. Good, our boarding crew goes in. He decides he likes the other uh, mm, route a little bit better, but that's okay. So we're boarding and we have a little bit of time. Let's go for the whole deal as much damage shtick as possible. Crit into bleeding. We build up rage. And we're at three rage. That's good. As long as he can't reach us, we're good. And we don't. We shouldn't cluster up because he has, apparently, with his bombs, a couple of don't cluster up skills. Bombs land here, I guess. And in the meantime, we land here. Our tank comes from the back, from downtown, and begins to hit him and hit him good he stabilized and weaken that's what i'm talking about very nice we got another action which i definitely would want to take nice blackout works on him that is fantastic we're hitting him from behind now. I'm hoping for real nice crit. Oh yeah. One just like that. Okay, cool. We're moving in. We're moving out and we're giving two of our comrades orderly. Careful here with Noodle Keeper. I think we're just going to wait over here. Problem with takedown is we're going to take over the aggro. That needs to be timed well, not just randomly. He's trying to hit us, misses us, uh, thanks to his inability to see us. That could be a crit. That's a nice one, and 145 bleeding. Not a crit, but a lot of damage. And I would like to move back to not fall overboard. This here is dangerous terrain for anyone except Jim, who conveniently cannot be moved. All right, he's trying. He's trying to, but failed at the end of the day. A lot of damage in return, which is good. A couple of barrels are falling down. 
Yeah, this this fight is a lot more about positioning than anything else. Good, we got two turns, uh, which now means this could be a good turn to... get in. Yeah, that should deal some damage. More barrels? Oh no, mines, sorry. I don't step on that. It's the name of the game. Uh, is he still blinded? No, he's not. We should change that. Hit him. Blind him. That worked very well. Blackout is a fantastic skill. Another crit, please. Good hits. Continuing to let him bleed. Nice little backstab. This is too close, I think. This is cutting it. Yeah, we, we are moving through. Not good. Alright. Stay there. And let him take his turn. He's blind. 50% chance to miss. Disengage to board a ship. Okay. Well, why not? We can't stay clustered up. More damage. Um, and I just want to move away so that we're not offering a great target for multi-hit. He boards, drops immediately onto our tank. Oh no, not immediately. The Woodle Keeper just doesn't have a really good timing this uh, this fight. In and out, in and out. Just not the right timing. Ouch. Good, we're moving back in. Direct hit. Slash. And weaken him for another round. Next up, a uh, tidal wave will come. And... We'll... Squash us away. Nice hit. He's also slowed down. Yeah, I knew someone would go overboard. Come up here, gnome. Thank you. Move up. 
hit. And another crit, come on. Almost down to 10. He only has mines, he's not doing anything else, and I think he is not stubborn, so he will die if we kill him. Yeah, I stand very much corrected. Of course, the guy is stubborn, just like everyone. No one here can just simply die. They all feel like they need to be stubborn. You asked for it. That could be anything. That could be an attack. That's a taunt. No. I'm gonna sink your ship and watch your companions drown. That is a taunt. Well, that was a uh, taunt already. Come on, fight me. Therefore, needs to be an attack. I'm waiting. That is a defense. Come on, fight me. That is an attack. There we go, finally. I'm gonna sink your ship and watch your companions drown. <laughs> I'm waiting. That's a defense. Ha! Come on, fight me. That's an attack. All right, I think we got him. <laughs> okay, Eokeld was defeated in a memorable duel. Yet another very strong pirate. Now this game has no shortage of really strong pirates. Gotta repair ourselves and of course take the loot. So Maelstrom. The source was forged for someone of a noble lineage. It was found its way into a cold's hand. Original owner is likely returned to the light. Uh, you'll never take me. Deals damage and applies bleeding, which is good because we do have a bleeding setup. Then deals damage to the target and knocks them back for four meters. Isn't that very similar to the other sword that we had I think that is the exact other thought uh, sword that we had maelstrom and here we had Deals more damage to the target and knocks them back by 3 meters. And here we do have uh, deals a little bit less damage but applies bleeding, then knocks, uh, then deals again the same uh, damage and knocks them back for 4 meters. So it's two, uh, 2 attacks. Yeah, that one is arguably better. Um, but it's good to see. I mean, uh, there's enough, there are enough one handed weapons so. Uh, that you can essentially equip your entire 20 men warband. Siren's Nest, we already have got. And 
that means there's only that little bit left. Let me explore uh, that real quick. And then we're going to come to the summary. As uh, this playthrough is nearing an end. I was, of course, wrong. So the Drowned Man is the last island. Which uh, we are... Going to quickly explore. Oh no, there is still a skull. We're going to explore that the next time. You know what? Might as well do it now, real quick. How long can that content be? Already well over half an hour in this particular episode. Eventually, it's not even a dungeon, it's just a cave. Good, picking our master angler, uh, who becomes a miner real quick. Had I known that mine a little bit earlier, that would have been very very helpful because this zone here in particular suffered from having too little ore and now it becomes clear I just never found the right mine I like the whole treasure hunting theme that is very well done Alazarian Battle Plague. Uh, okay, that's the worst treasure uh, that I could imagine. But potentially the game will tell me otherwise, because I'm sure there is more to it than just that treasure. Well, that's the last island, and I am glad that I didn't start a new episode for that. I would have felt very, very stupid. So, that was uh, the Pirates of Beleriand DLC playthrough. A couple of impressions after playing it, and I'll uh, certainly do a proper review uh, for it. Number one, I think the whole theme uh, of pirates have been very very well uh, implemented boats feel natural the whole boat fights were a completely different take on the battle system a good uh, take in a good uh, sense the studio uh, starts to be a little bit more focused on combat mechanics like in divinity original sins 2 where there is just more environmentally uh, going on than just clicking the skills. And I think that totally makes sense because uh, elsewise the game might get boring when you're uh, just using your skill rotations uh, and the environment doesn't really uh, matter. I think they have nailed it completely. The whole pirates uh, and uh, finding treasures theme was good. I think the idea with uh, having those duels against uh, legendary pirates and um, eventually climbing up your rank to encourage more playing in this zone absolutely on spot sound graphic new units very much on spot um, in terms of criticism potentially the same that the game had gotten from me the last time i think a bit more explanation about where uh, something is and how certain things work 
uh, would be appropriate. At times when I, um, again, found out, ah, you can now use, uh, create offense via the alchemy tree, that's always a bit uh, sad to see, or all of these um, all of these extra skill books that you're that you're finding over time that are somewhere hidden um, I mean for the kind of explorer uh, gamer type that is the right mode but you should at least consider offering for other gamer types an option that uh, that does not require you to find everything out by yourself generally the guides around this game are rather lackluster simply because a lot of the gaming mechanic is not very well explained so that's potentially crit point criticism number one um, point criticism number two would be uh, the uh, new um, enemies sometimes where the AI wasn't really smart but yet again I need to be careful with that criticism it's just freshly released uh, so I think there are a couple of hot fixes coming in and that might change the AI behavior. So oftentimes the AI was really not realizing when they uh, put themselves in grave danger. And I think that that could have been done a bit uh, better. The game had a few bugs upon release, but uh, when you are watching the videos, potentially most of them are already gone. So that is only minor criticism. So yeah, overall, really good uh, expansion. I think if you liked uh, the standard game you definitely cannot get uh, uh, cannot do go any anywhere wrong with uh, going for this expansion I think my only other take uh, but that has nothing to do with the expansion that just has to do with the extreme difficulty mode I like the idea I am a big fan of what they've done minus the one uh, thing which is the implementation of uh, the skills and making them more expensive. I would have instead gone with a cooldown based skill system and uh, would have made the enemies even slightly more uh, dangerous. Uh, certain builds simply with uh, the uh, higher valor point costs cannot compete. I don't know how it plays in the end game uh, here now that you do have a little bit more leeway and can generate valor faster but that was a real disappointment. It has nothing to do with the DLC it's just um, if Saiken doesn't play the hardest difficulty then it's potential the, the design of the hardest difficulty then is potentially not very uh, very well the only two games ever where that happened to me is uh, here with extreme difficulty and the Pathfinder games simply because the harder difficulty there meant that you um, were um, reducing your builds uh, because only very very few skills and very optimized builds could even withstand the difficulty levels of Pathfinder on the on the unfair difficulty but that's a different uh, topic for a different day I hope you enjoyed the uh, playthrough if you did uh, now is a good time to uh, put a like uh, down below uh, the first and the last video are amongst the most important videos in a playthrough. Keep, uh, please keep that in mind. And keep in mind that the algorithm feeds off of your comments and your feedback. Uh, so the more you interact, uh, the better. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, we will see each other hopefully in some of the guides. I will play a bit off screen and uh, we'll try to... Uh, test all of the new skills as well as uh, the new uh, builds uh, with my other save game i think overall uh, moving into this with a fresh uh, save game um, was the right decision if i had come in here with level 12 completely maxed out uh, epic level equipped characters then uh, the whole thing wouldn't have been half as much fun as it has been and with that i finally uh, concluded the Balerian Archipelago. You can see everything is uh, well identified and we made it. So uh, props for us. Thanks for watching and see you all a little bit later. Take care and bye bye.